All right, mates, let's talk some post-spawn baits that you should consider this spring if your fishery is now undergoing post-spawn. Here in the DMV, we've got fish that are already post-spawn, as well as we have still have some fish that are about to begin to spawn. So it's really a kind of an effective bait. Really, I have the best success of these baits in the post-spawn and then later on in the fall, not so much during the summer period. But if you're a jig angler, jig fisherman, river fisherman, you kind of know what I'm talking about um, when, I, when, I, when I present this, okay? Um, I know a lot of people have gotten away Jig fishing is becoming almost a lost art, um, it seems, with all the other presentations that seem to just take so much oxygen out of the room, whether it's the Whopper Plopper or the Chatterbait, all these newer things. But at the end of the day, in the post-spawn and early summer period, for me, I it doesn't matter if it's hair jigs for smallies on the up or in the tidal fisheries, jig fishing, flipping, pitching jigs, and um, swim jigs for largemouth bass. This is one of the most effective presentations you can do. You certainly can do modifications to this to suit your poison mates. I know a lot of guys um, that I've turned these baits onto will trim these down, trim these weed guards down almost to the where the um, where the hook is. I totally get that. I love the fact that I've got this underhook here, and I love the fact that I can change the the range of the movement okay the range of the movement how you do that is with this keeper i can keep it tight where it's not going to move that much or i can raise that keeper up to almost about you know an inch or so from the hook and the bar right there it gives me a little bit more movement now in a tidal fishery i like that i like that more movement with the water flow Okay. Now in your lake or reservoir, if you want to throw this and get it down, you may want to go towards that tighter. Okay. Because it's going to be less. It's not going to be nearly as kind of like offsetting, um, in a lake or reservoir. Whereas in the tidal fishery, you've got that water movement or a river. You've got a lot of movement going on in the water column. So you kind of want that to be erratic, right? And you've got this hook on the bottom. You also have inside internally. In this bait, you've got the rattle, okay? So there's also the rattle, the ball bearings in there, the beads in there, okay? So you've got a lot of things working here um, that work effectively in your river system during the post-spawn to give you a different presentation that the bass probably haven't seen yet this year coming out of the spawn.